Philip, uh, Philip Order of Element. Let me to show you H2. If I use the flip on H2, you will uh, see that one comes to this direction, zero comes to here, and nine go to there. And if you consider a line in here, the number of element uh, come in here, the number of element come in the the right element come to the left. And the left element come to the right. Uh, it is a, it's a function that you can use in your MATLAB program. Uh, let me to run it in a matrix. It is the edge in our matrix. If I run the flip. On a matrix, you will see that it work uh, as you see in here uh, when you call the flip on a matrix, it will flip the uh, columns element. You see that uh, the columns are flipped. Let me to show you a bigger matrix. Uh, I think the T is a good value, yeah. This is a T matrix. If I apply the flip to this matrix, because it is a, in the middle, it doesn't change. As you see, it doesn't change. But uh, these columns come to the up and this column uh, goes to the down. And the next is a flip LR. Flip LR rotate the element from uh, left to right. Let me to show you the and flip L R T. If you take a look at the result of flip L R, this column comes to the first column, end column, and this column comes to here, as you see in here, and the middle column doesn't change. We have another command, it is a flip ud, flip ud, flip the input matrix, let me to run it. As you see here, uh, it works on the columns. Better to use Philip UD or Philip LR in your MATLAB program because you can control over the flipping. But the Philip uh, without any uh, special character, uh, if it is a vector, it is a horizontal vector, it uh, will flip uh, from uh, left to right. I, but it is a uh, vertical vector, it will flip uh, from uh, up to down. But up to down is a variation for up to down. You know that this command will work and rotate or flip uh, your array from uh, up to down and flip LR from left to right.